morning church family i'm wearing this awesome but totally not my style day of the dead shirt this morning because today we are celebrating all saints day we're remembering those who are no longer with us and celebrating the saints among us today but first let's back it up a bit for the past several weeks we've been reading stories in the bible about planting seeds about good dirt, trees, and strong roots. First, we read Psalm 1 and learned that a person who knows and loves God is like a tree planted next to a stream that develops strong, deep roots and can withstand even the worst storms. We heard the story of the mustard seed, a tiny little seed that can grow into an enormous plant in this parable, Jesus teaches us that God can make amazing things happen, even from little humble beginnings. Do you remember the story of the fig tree that the landowner wanted to cut down because it wasn't producing any fruit? The gardener wanted to give the tree good fertilizer, special care, and more time to see if it could bear fruit. God is like that gardener, giving us the things we need to thrive. And we also read the parable of the sower. Remember how the seeds fell onto four kinds of ground, but only the seeds in the good soil grew to be strong? Jesus wanted to remind us to have the right kind of hearts and minds to have God's seeds of knowledge, wisdom, and love grow in us. With all this talk about seeds and trees, I wanted to tell you about a tree we made in Sunday school last week. It's a faith family tree, and this morning you can see it in the sanctuary. On each of the leaves, we wrote the names of all the amazing people God has put into our lives who have taught us about love, peace, kindness, joy, and how to serve God. Some of these people on our tree are still alive, and some are not. Together, we call this big group of amazing people a cloud of witnesses. This morning, we are remembering and honoring this great cloud of witnesses as we celebrate All Saints Day. We can remember too that we are called to be living saints and like our faith family tree, it's our job to plant seeds, put down roots, and stretch out our branches so that lots and lots of people can find rest and a home with God. Let's pray together, and as we pray, imagine who you would include on the leaves and branches of your faith family tree. God, we thank you for the people in our lives who have taught us about love, kindness, generosity, humility, and joy. We thank you for people who have set a beautiful example of how to live. We give thanks for our church family and for people all over the world who work to make this world a better place. We remember and give thanks for those who are living and those who are with you in heaven. Help us to follow the example of the saints and do great work in your name. Amen.